Is the Maiden Voyage a good tutorial? Well, to start, let's take a look at what the Maiden Voyage actually teaches a new player. When you wake up, you're greeted by the Pirate Lord, who teaches you that you can eat a banana to regain health. You're then asked to pull a cutlass out of the nearby tree and kill the skeleton tied to it, which never actually happens in game, as every other hostile skeleton has legs. Once you kill the skeleton, you're then prompted to speak to the Pirate Lord, to which he will hand you over a shovel and give you a small tutorial on how to dig and use a map. Essentially a guide to the gold hoarders. Once you hand the chest in, you'll be given the option to explore or continue with the tutorial. By continuing, you'll be asked to raise your mast, repair it, and then bucket the water out. Once you do that, you can weigh anchor and set sail, and oh look, we have wind, so no need to angle your sail and learn about that sort of stuff. Now you can just sit back and relax, as you don't actually need to steer the ship, or fight the skelly galleon that spawns on you near the end, as this is just an option and not a requirement to do in the tutorial. Also just a quick mistake to point out, a skeleton galleon should never naturally spawn on a sloop, so why is the tutorial teaching new players this? It's kind of weird. Anyway, to quickly recap, you have to eat the banana, get the sword and kill the skeleton, take the shovel and dig up the chest, repair the mast, bail and set sail. Now we can start to understand why so many players struggle with this game when starting out. You can also learn how to fish, use a rowboat, cook, steer the ship, and use cannons. However, these are just optional and are not required to complete the tutorial. Now in the grand scheme of Sea of Thieves, this is very basic knowledge, and I get why Rare doesn't want to overload the tutorial with stuff to learn, as it will be pretty overwhelming for new players. However, I feel like there should be further extensions to the Maiden Voyage. Something like an easy, medium, and hard tutorial, so that if players want to learn more, they can, rather than having to get information from friends or content creators, which could be outdated or misleading. I also make the joke when seeing new players telling newer players wrong information about Sea of Thieves, as the blind leading the blind, which isn't their fault, as the game doesn't teach players that much. The Maiden Voyage was added in December of 2019, at this point we had new mechanics like fire, different foods, and extended ship damage to name a few, so you can imagine the confusion of a brand new player when engaging in combat and then being bombarded with cursed cannonballs which forces them to sleep. If I were to add more difficulties to the tutorial, I'd have the medium rated one showcase and explain more of the resources available in game. I think players should be able to learn that there's different and better foods, there's cursed cannibals and their effects, prompted to use the blunderbuss or sniper and then use them on hostile mobs, not just half skeletons tied to a tree that can't even hurt you, show off the other enemies in game like the phantoms, ocean crawlers and sirens that were all added after the maiden voyage was added, and then also show off the firebombs and blunderbombs. Now I feel the hardest rated tutorial should focus more on ship combat. Put the player into a scenario like the Skeleton Fleet World event where they are against one or two skeleton sloops and have to sink both without sinking themselves. I feel ever since Arena was removed a lot of players have really struggled practicing their naval. Now I want to make it clear that you can never really practice PvP with PvE as PvE is scripted and somewhat predictable. But if Rare could implement a PvE version of player sloops that can have their masts knocked down and have two AI on boards that act like players with their ships boasting Reaper emissaries, I feel that it could really teach players that this game is still a PvE VP experience and isn't just a dig chests sailing simulator. And I feel the Maiden Voyage also forces new players into a certain playstyle. The fact that it only teaches you how to play like a gold order and doesn't showcase the order of souls or merchant alliance starts off a lot of players only doing gold orders making it the most popular faction this was shown back during the reapers vs the world event where the most sold emissary flags were the gold orders another common habit i see is the pistol sword combo as that's the loadout that the game forces you to have and doesn't prompt you to try anything else it took me about a year to test out using the sniper and blunderbuss, and now that's my main weapon combo. 
In conclusion, I feel the Maiden Voyage would have been a great tutorial for when the game first came out in 2018. However, now in 2022, it's completely outdated and gives little to no useful information to a new player getting into Sea of Thieves, which in my opinion causes most players to give up on the game early as they have to learn from their mistakes within the game, often resulting in a loss of hours worth of loot. 